Hello stampers, welcome to my pajama party. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabub.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. So who has their PJs on? I wanna hear from you guys. And when we're done with this live, I would love if you would post a picture of you in your pajamas in the comments. Well, maybe not, I don't know if you can do that under the live, but maybe I'll start a post on my page and then you can post a picture of you in your pajamas. What do you think of my pajamas? Aren't these cute? I think my friend Rachel bought these for me one year for New Year's. Um, I think somebody bought them for me and we had matching pajamas and they're really cute. They have pants and they're that warm fuzzy stuff. So I'm nice and cuddly. And for those of you down South where it's warm, don't tease us with that because it's chilly here. Um, it's kind of been raining on and off all day. It poured and poured and poured last night. It was crazy. Um, every time I looked outside, it was just pouring rain. And of course, our, we have like a lake in our backyard now. Our basement is flooding. And we know that's going to happen every time we get a lot of rain. So um, we're always ready for it. We've got the dehumidifier on, the fans going, and everything on the floor is in Rubbermaid so that it doesn't get ruined. But ugh, springtime. Hi, Terry. Hi, Miriam. Hi, Ingrid. Yeah, cute. thank you. Cute pajamas. Yeah, I thought I'd throw my hair up. I got a little messy bun going on back here. I don't have any fancy earrings on or jewelry because it's a pajama party, right? Hi, Donna. Hi, Lori. Welcome. I see Connie popping in from Raleigh, North Carolina. Probably warm there, huh? Mary's coming in. Mary's nearby. Debbie, I am. This is just really snuggly, warm, cuddly. And I don't have to wear a sweatshirt over it. Like, I always wear little jackets because I'm cold. Hi, Haley. Are you wearing your pajamas? It's a pajama party. <laughs> yeah, I think when I'm done, I'll put a post up. Um... And then you guys can show me a picture of your cute pajamas. And I have to tell you, so I'm, you know I'm always one to just put it right out there. I, my pajamas usually consist of a pair of sweatpants and an old t-shirt with an old raggy sweatshirt. That's my pajamas. I'm such a romantic. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> that's what I usually wear. So if that's what you wear for pajamas, that's fine. I had to put something on a little nicer tonight. I just figured it would probably be good right? <laughs> Hi, Marsha. Hi, Kathy. Kathy's in her flannel, paja flannel pajamas. Good for you. I love flannel. I used to have a set of flannel sheets that were wonderful in the winter. And then once I started getting all the hot flashes, ugh, I never put them back on the bed. It was just too much. Yeah, because most of the time I'm hot. When I go to bed, I'm hot. When I'm sitting here, my fingers right now are just freezing. I'm cold. And my space heater's on because my feet are cold. I don't know. It's a weird thing. My temperature gauge is all messed up. Haley says she has her pink and gray plaid pants on and a Cubbies t-shirt. Good for you, Haley. And I know exactly which pink and gray pants you're talking about, too. I've seen them. So, a couple things that I forgot to show you guys the other day. When we made all those adorable shaker cards, if you remember that, um, I was going to show you this cute little box. I did post the link to it on my Facebook page. But this is a little card box, and you can fit a bunch of cards and envelopes in here. All the directions for it are on my blog. I also put the link on Facebook to find the blog post. But I do have a video tutorial for this, and it's super, super cute. You can, of course, use any stamp set, any designer series paper, whatever, whatever makes you happy. But this is just a really nice way to be able to gift a set of cards and make it fancy, right? <laughs> So yeah, I forgot to show you that and I wanted to show it to you in real life. And then last night, I told you guys as we were working with this petal pink striped ribbon that I was going to show you something really cool with it. And guess what? I never did. And it didn't dawn on me until we were done that I never showed you. So I am going to, let me get you guys up on my screen here. I am going to show you something cool with this. And I've shown it to you before, but maybe you guys missed it. I know everybody doesn't watch all of my videos. I'd like you to, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> but I know that you don't. So um, I thought I'd show it to you again. I'm just getting my computer set up here so I can see comments coming in. Okay, so 
what I'm going to do with this ribbon is I'm going to just tie a bow and then something that I like to do with it, um, it's made out of nylon and let's see if it says, oh no, I, I lied. It's made, a, it's 100% polyester and you can do this with any polyester ribbons, I think. And I just happened to try it one day because I like to do this with ribbon. So hang on. Let me grab my old ancient heat tool here. But one of the cool things you could do with this ribbon, oops, hang on so I don't throw my laptop on the floor. I've done that before, it's not pretty. Is you can take your heat tool and you can, no, heck, hang on. Um, I'm gonna hold it up against this. You can heat the ends of it and it'll crinkle up. It's pretty neat. So let's see if I can do this and not burn myself, hey? Do you see what it's done there? Oh, it's kind of hard to see. It's starting to crinkle up and it'll shrink up and then it gives it kind of a really cool look. Because it's polyester, that'll make it shrink up and get um, kind of curly looking. Let's do this side. Oh, this one's working a little better. Look at that, isn't that neat? I just think it's a really cool thing. Now you can put this bow on a card and it's just going to stay all nice and crinkled up like that. It's just a very interesting look. So um, this is the organdy striped ribbon. We only have it in petal pink and it's 100% polyester. So something fun to do with your polyester ribbon is to make it shrivel up. It's like, it, I always like think of it as the Wicked Witch of the was it the bad witch was from the west and she just kind of shrinks up yeah maybe that was a little more than you needed to know <laughs> so we're having a pj party tonight and i have um a fun little game i thought we could play and i went out online and i looked for some virtual games that we could play and i thought since we're having a virtual pajama party tonight a fun game would to play would be been there done that so, I'm sure this could go in a lot of directions, but we're going to keep it clean, okay? This is a family program. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask some questions throughout tonight, and then I'm going to have you just post the answers in the comments. And um, I'll go back through and read them after we're done with the live, because you guys know when I'm stamping, I miss a lot of stuff, right? So I'll go back through and read them, but we'll start that when we start stamping. I just want you to be prepared for it. I don't know how you can prepare, but whatever. Okay, we have some winners from last Sunday. Now, usually I only do a Facebook Live on Sunday nights, but since this um, Corona Quarantine 2020, and I'm gonna start calling it the CQ 2020 went into place, I decided that I need to be doing Facebook Lives every day until we get out of this mess. Now, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, and I don't even know if this is true, but my husband just heard tonight that um, President Trump is going to be asking for a quarantine until the end of April. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's true. That's just what Steve told me. And I see Steve's on here. Hi, Steve. He's in the kitchen. Okay, so I was also going to have some popcorn tonight, you know, for a pajama party, but guess what? He came in here with the most beautiful salad, and I ate the whole thing. And then shortly after that, his carrots that he was cooking were done. And so he brought me a bowl of carrots covered in melted butter of cooked carrots, and I, I ate all of them. And now I feel like I'm going to explode, so I'm not eating popcorn. I hope you're eating popcorn. And for those of you that were wondering, I did not watch Gone Girl yet. Um, I decided that I didn't want to watch it working on kits because I want to be able to pay attention to it. So I'm going to save it until I take a little time off, like a couple hours or maybe an evening and enjoy it. Cause I think it's going to be one of those kind of movies where you got to pay attention and I'm not good at those <laughs> because I'm always doing something. I know you find that shocking too, but I decided that I was going to wait to watch Gone Girl until I can really pay attention to it. So, and I see Tina just came in here. Hi, Tina. Hi, Kathy. Kathy's here. Cynthia's here. 
Beth is here. We got a whole bunch of people tonight. Okay, back to this. I know, I went off on a tangent. Um, winners from last Sunday. So every day I'm doing a drawing for some type of a giveaway. As long as you guys are coming to spend this time and help me get through the CQ 2020, I am going to try and help you get through it too. But every Sunday is usually when I do my Facebook Lives. And I am going to um, do from Sunday to Sunday giveaways because I always have three giveaways for my Sunday Facebook Lives. And I see, who was it? Somebody just said they're munching on popcorn. Jerry is eating her popcorn. Good for you, Jerry. Oh yeah, Linda said social distancing guidelines extended to April 30th. She heard the, the same thing. So <clears throat> at the end of the video, I'll um, shed some light on some of the goofy things that have happened to me today. And I'll talk a little bit about the quarantine. <laughs> but until then... We're just going to stick with our stamping. <laughs> okay, I'm giving these away. And if you would leave a comment, if you're watching me, please leave a comment because you'll be entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes like these doilies. These come in four different colors. They're so, so pretty. They're the lacy, intricate ones. And um, from comments from last Sunday, our winner is Deborah Felpel Butte or Butt, B U T T. You are the winner, Deborah Felpel Butte Butt. You're the winner of these, and I do not have your address, so you're going to need to contact me, and the best way to do that is to pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above dot com, or you can instant message me, but if we're not friends on Facebook, I may or may not see that, because it's hard to get those messages. So, Janet's about to eat beef stew. Well, I made um, haddock, baked haddock last night. It was pretty late. It was about 9 o'clock when I finally got it in the oven. Steve was supposed to cook it, but he didn't. So I cooked the haddock, and it was Haley and Jared's recipe. So what, what you do is you put some butter on top of it, of the fillets. They're them great big chunky fillets, right? Them great big. That's good English. The great big chunky fillets. You put some butter on, some melted butter on. And then you take some melted butter and mix it with um, shake and bake. And then you put that on top of the fillets and you bake it for 30 minutes at 350. It was delicious. Really enjoyed it. So anyways. Okay, so Deborah is the winner of the doilies. I'm going to set those right back there so I don't lose them. Then for sharing, click on that share button. You can share my video right now and I really do appreciate it. That helps me be able to grow my business and get out to more viewers. I have a half a pack, a half a pack of the Golden Honey Specialty Designer Series paper that is gorgeous, that you will love, and the winner of that is going to be Heather Kohler. Heather's right here from Menasha, and um, Heather won this from sharing my video last Sunday. So thank you, Heather, and congratulations. I will get this sorted and... Um, I think what I'll have you do, Heather, because I know you go by my house, is I'll, I'll let you know when it's ready and I'll have you pick it up when you're on your way to work or on your way home. Heather is one of our necessary workers. Is that what they're calling them? I don't know. But anyways, she's a necessary worker. She works in the pharmacy at Walgreens. So thank you to all of our necessary workers to keep everybody's lives going. We really appreciate it. We bow down to you. For sure. And I'm not being funny right now. I'm being very serious. This is my serious face. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Put that back there so I don't lose it. And I don't want it to fall off and get dented either because nobody wants no dented paper. And then our biggest prize is for everybody that places an order with me each week from Sunday to Sunday, you get entered in a drawing to win a fabulous prize and remember we have all this ribbon that Terry sent us so I'm gonna include a roll of ribbon it will go perfectly with the little ladybug stamp set yes I'm giving this away and from last Sunday for placing an order with me everybody was entered Sue Kamaus you are the winner you're gonna have this coming your way this week so congratulations to all the winners Congratulations, and thank you to everybody who leaves a comment, shares my video, places an order. I really appreciate it. Okay, I'm going under the desk to turn off the heater now because I'm getting hot. 
Nobody wants Kelly to be a hot mess, right? Okay. Um, oh, where did my little slip of paper go? So. All right. I think we're ready to stamp. Hang on. I've got somebody popping up on my screen here. Are we ready? Is everybody ready to stamp? Holy cow, we have 530 watching. I think that might be my biggest number, you guys. That tells me there's a lot of people home, right? Yeah, yeah. And they're doing their job, social distancing. I've been doing pretty good with it. I don't know if I'm gonna do real good with it till April 30th, but we'll see, won't we? <laughs> okay, are we ready to flip? I think we're ready to flip. Oh, let me get my stuff out here. So, I have some pretty cool cards. I think they're pretty cool to share with you tonight. And we are going to be using, and this will, I'll, I'll show this to you again, the Strong and Beautiful Sentiment Set. Um, this is just a fabulous sentiment set. It's got so many great um, greetings in it for all different occasions. So I will show you that so you can actually read it in just a second. Let me get my little basket unpacked here. I'm also pairing that up with the, um, thoughtful blooms and the little bloom punch just kind of a little accent piece with it and we're going to be using the stitch so sweetly dies because I have completely fallen in love with them who has the stitched so sweetly dies who who's got them if you don't have these you need to think about it like I highly recommend them you will probably not be able to stop using them like I am not use not stopping using them uh oh Oh, well, oh, there it is. I'm like, oh, I, I lost one of them. That's not good ever. Okay, let me set this off to the side. And I think we are going to, oh, let me get my cardstock layers out here so I don't make a big mess in front of you. You can't really see what's going on down here. And then I look like I'm really put together. <laughs> but in fact, there's things happening down here you don't know about. <laughs> okay, um, here we go. We got all these little pieces. Here comes all the little pieces. I'll throw that over there. This and this. And all the things. Okay, here we go. Set this up here so I can see what I'm doing. Are we ready? We're ready. Okay, if you get motion sickness, close your eyes. I'll let you know when you can open your eyes back up. We're going to do the flippy doodle. There we go. And here we are. So, let me make sure I got everything straight. Hang on, guys. Sorry, I should keep my fingers out of the camera. I don't know why this thing is giving me a hard time. It's getting a little stiff. Okay, let me get my cord out of here. Nobody wants to be looking at no cords, right? And we're ready. Okay. We are ready for some amazing stamping. So, Flirty Flamingo, I love this color because, of course, it's very bright and vibrant. This is gonna be our card base. Let me set some of the stuff down here. And this is four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half and we're just going to burnish that edge. And then we've got a piece of basic black. This is four by five and a quarter. Now, if you guys remember last night, we used the flowered paper from the Flowering Foil Specialty Designer Series paper, right? Oh, look at, look at my umbrella. There we go. Keep that straight. Um, we used that paper for several cards. Where's the other one? Right here. Remember this? If you missed it, these are on my Facebook Live from last night. And I got the ideas from this card, and I don't know who made it. And this one that my friend Renee Conkey made. And hers opened like this. And mine, I made it its exact same layout. I just had it open like this. So we used this paper and you saw that it gets really cool when you put some vellum over it. It turns petal pink instead of copper, which I thought was just like quite the magic performed there, right? Now, this paper I haven't really used yet. I've used this hash paper. I, that's what I call it, hash, like hash lines, right? We used all the little flowers but I haven't really used this one. So today I got it out and I decided that we were, uh, this is what I was gonna focus on for tonight. 
And of course, you know, you can do any, if you don't have this paper, you can do anything else you'd like with the layouts and what I'm going to do. You can use other paper, but I thought this would be perfect for what I wanted to do here. So I got to digging around. I knew that I wanted to use the strong and beautiful stamp set because I think this is really a good set for the time that we're living in right now. You are like a diamond, resilient, strong, and beautiful. I cherish, I cherish, I cherish you, my true friend. I know I can always count on you. To the woman who does it all with wisdom and grace. And then we have, um, you have what it takes to be unstoppable, and I couldn't be more proud. We have a Mother's Day greeting here, a happy Mother's Day. You're amazing, and that's a fact. To the woman who taught me what it means to be brave, thank you for always being there for me. Keep reaching for your dreams. I will keep cheering you on. You have truly been a shining example to me. Like, holy cannoli, right? This is just an amazing stamp set. So, I pulled it out. We're using it. And then, like I said, the other thing that I grabbed was my Thoughtful Blooms. Now, celebration is ending on Tuesday. Tuesday is the last day to place an order where you can qualify to get free items. This is one of the free items. You get this free with a $50 order, as well as the paper. Hang on. I got it right here. This is the Flowering Foils Specialty Designer Series paper. And here's those flowers we used last night. Here's some more flowers in here. Here's the hash. I call it hash marks. I don't know what to call it, but I don't know. Yeah, that's what I call it. And then this paper. You get all of these 12 by 12 sheets. You actually get 12 sheets. So you get three of four designs because three times four is 12. Did you see how fast I did that math? Amazing, right? <laughs> I know. Okay, so that's what I pulled together here. And then this is the small bloom punch. This goes with the thoughtful blooms. It punches out the flowers that you can stamp in here. It also works with the Pleased as Punch designer series paper. You can punch out the flowers that are printed on that paper. The punch is free with a $100 order. Okay, what I decided to do with this, and it was just something that I'm like, hey, I wonder what this would look like, and then I decided I liked it. Do you guys ever do that where you're like, huh, I wonder what that would look like, and you try it and most of the time. I shouldn't say that most of the time, but most of the time it doesn't turn out right. I mean, it doesn't for me. But today it did, and I thought, I really like that. So I've got my Flirty Flamingo ink here, and in that Thoughtful Bloom stamp set is a teeny-weeny little flower. So I'm going to have to stand up. I'm going to get a little bit louder now. If you need to turn your phone down because I have an incredibly big mouth, you do that. And then when I sit back down, you can turn it back up. But what I decided to do, I just stamped this on a little scrap to see if these flowers would look good in the centers of these big foil flowers. And I decided that they looked pretty darn cute. So I've got my flirty flamingo ink and I'm just stamping my little flowers in the centers of all of these foil flowers. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to ask one of my questions for a pajama party. Been there, done that. First question, have you ever talked your way out of a speeding ticket? I wanna see it in the comments. Have you ever talked your way out of a speeding ticket? And my answer to that would be no. I have never talked my way out of a speeding ticket. I have been pulled over for speeding. And the first time I was pulled over was probably, I think I was about 17. And I really wasn't paying attention to how fast I was going. And we had a big full-size Bronco. So it had a great big engine and it was like 400 horsepower. So it was easy to get carried away with how fast you were going if you weren't paying attention. And a police officer pulled me over and he wouldn't tell me exactly how fast I was going because he didn't want me to tell people that I had 
gotten a warning ticket because that's what he gave me. Because as he came this way and I went that way, I saw him and I looked at my speedometer and I just pulled over. Like he had to go around a curve and turn around and come back. He couldn't even see me anymore and I had already pulled over and I was sitting there waiting for him. And he gave me a warning. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah. And then I paid better attention to how fast I was going after that. But you know, when you're a kid, you just, you know, you think, oh, nobody's going to pull me over. I'm not going to see anything, blah, blah, blah. But, um, yeah. So I didn't have to talk my way out of it, but I didn't get a ticket. So that was nice. Isn't that cute, you guys? What do you guys think? I love this. Now, I thought it would look great with that pop of black behind it, right? That's really going to make this white pop. And then I'm going to add it to the front of my card base. So that's my speeding ticket story. But I, it doesn't qualify as talking myself out of a ticket because I didn't have to say anything. He just didn't give me a ticket, which was really nice. And I was very appreciative. Okay, next. What we're going to do here is, oops, we're going to take our Versamark ink. Now, because we've got silver foil, right? I, I mean, I wanted to use silver embossing powder. Seems like the right thing to do. Hang on, somebody just tried to call me on the phone. Are they not watching me? Lord, everybody's watching me right now. <laughs> what are they doing? Okay, so I've got my silver embossing powder, and I'm going to take... A whisper white scrap and I've got the sentiment that says to the woman who does it all with grace and wisdom and we're going to use that in the Versamark ink oh wait wrong color we need black and we need our embossing buddy don't forget to do that okay here we go okay we're going to stamp that Meh. put that in there get this over here Pour some powder. That looks good. I give it a couple. What do you call that? I know when the kids were little, I used to do that to them when they were smarting off in the head. Is that too much information? Like kind of child abusey? It worked. It was very effective. Yeah. And it doesn't leave marks. No, <laughs> it really doesn't. But. I wasn't worried about that. Okay, we're gonna heat set our silver. My mom used to yank our hair. I just thunked him in the head. <laughs> yeah. And now everybody knows I'm a child abuser. No, I really wasn't. Kids love me. <laughs> and they also have respect. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm going to look at this and make sure everything is glossy or shiny looking. That, that tells me that my embossing is done. And then we're going to emboss it with this dye from the so, Stitch, what is it called? Stitch So Sweetly dies. Hang on. Yes, Stitch So Sweetly dies. I don't know why I have a hard time remembering that. Then we're also going to do this shape on the Flirty Flamingo. And when you run those both through the big shot, this is what you have. Yep, it, it's just like magic. I'm gonna set these aside now, and I'm gonna set these aside so I don't lose them. And I've already got black dimensionals on the back of this piece. I've got a lot of stuff to show you guys tonight, and we have a pajama party, so I did a little bit of prep work. Now I'm gonna try to get this centered. Sometimes that's easier said than done, right? Ah, isn't that cool? It's just cool. And then we're going to bring this back in here. And we're going to add our sentiment right to the front here. I wish I could put it up far enough to cover up my ink smear, but I'm not going to. I don't want to just jack up my whole design because I got a little ink on it right there. You guys probably can't even see that, so I don't even know why I mention it. You would have thought it was perfect, but it's not. <laughs> it's Kelly keeping it real, right? Okay, here comes our glittered organdy ribbon, and it's got that silver glitter in it, and it's black, and I thought it would look beautiful with this card. So I'm just going to take my ribbon, and I'm going to tie it in a bow, and you can use your bow jig if you have one. I'm just going to tie a bow here. 
manipulate it a little bit so that it lays nice. There we go, that looks great. And then we'll see if we need to trim it at all. Mini glue dot. Take your pick tool, whoops, get the end off your pokey end. And I'm gonna put that right about here, right at the bottom of my black layer. Here it comes. Oh, now I think I do wanna kind of pull this a little bit smaller. It's just kind of out of whack there. What do you guys think? Ah, Kathy just said her son made her a bow jig. I'm so happy for you because they really will make your life and bow making so much easier. For those of you that might be new tonight, let me grab one. Whew. Now this is a pretty fancy bow jig. It's got um, routered edges on it. It's really fancy, but all you need is a block of wood. You drill some holes in it. These are an inch apart and then they're half an inch on each side, okay? You can do as many as you want as will fit on your wood, it doesn't matter. But you use these types of nails that don't have a big head on them. And then I say this one's fancy because it's got holes in the end to hold the nails. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah, this one's really fancy. You don't need anything fancy. You just need holes drilled in a piece of wood to make your bows. And the next bow that I make, if I am, I don't know if I'm making another bow, but if I do, I'll use this on it. But here we go. And now the other thing that I wanted to do, oh, I've got this white here for a reason. And we're gonna use this little bloom punch. I'm just gonna punch out one white little flower. And then I'm going to take a rhinestone and color it pink with my Stampin' Blend Flirty Flamingo marker. I'm gonna take that and put it in the center of my little white flower. Look at how cute that is. It's just very simple, very elegant. And instead of adding a white layer to the inside, I'm just going to put this little flower with a rhinestone right there. There, okay. And I also did my envelope flap. So now we have a card and an envelope flap to match. Isn't that cute? I just really love this. And do you guys want to see another color? Because you know I love to do that, right? What about Daffodil Delight? Same exact card, same everything, only Daffodil Delight. And then on the inside, look what I did there. I stamped this image from the Thoughtful Blooms along the bottom. I actually meant to do that in here too, but I kind of forgot. Can we get this up, people? What do you think? Let's see if we can get my little flower up without destroying things here. Oh, look at that. Okay, we can do it, we can do it, yay! This was a kind of a last minute thought and I, like I said, I completely forgot about it. So we're gonna do that. Oh, I see all the hearts, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. And I'm just gonna watch me wreck this. No, don't do it. Oh, that's pretty good. I got it a little crooked, but it'll be okay. Did you guys see my flower? Like, now I've lost my flower. I know it's probably stuck to me somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where my flower went. Oh, no, that's not it. We lost it. We're on a mission now. Oh, there it is. Jeez Louise. Okay. Then we'll just put this right down here again. Isn't that cute? Very cute. Okay, where'd that yellow card go? Right here. Here we go. Two cards. We've got two envelopes here. And easy, right? This, this was very simple very simple. Okay, let me get my stamps cleaned off here. I don't know if I'm actually using these again or not, but I think I am. There we go. So let's clean up our mess here. Oh, and this is the happiness 
Bloom's Enamel Dots. I used that on the inside of this yellow card from my flower center. These are really nice. They're low profile and you get them in um, navy, yellow, hot pink, calypso, and um, what color would I consider this one? It's a, oh, Call Me Clover. Oh, these are probably our in colors. Oh yeah, <laughs> they are in colors. Hello. Blueberry bushel, lovely lipstick, um, grapefruit grove, pineapple punch, and call me clover. So these are really nice. And remember, all of these colors are retiring. They are going away. So also going away will be these Happiness Blooms enamel dots. So if you want to get any, you need to order them soon. All right, next. Let me bring in my next project. Let me put some of this stuff out of my way here. Oops, I just leaned on my computer. I didn't do anything to you guys. Here comes my next one. Okay, I've actually got two cards that we're gonna do with this whole idea. I'm gonna set those aside. Where am I gonna put them? Right there so I don't lose them. I'll put these away. And here we go. So here comes our card base. We've got Bermuda Bay. We've got Highland Heather. I'm going to bring in some rhinestones. We've got some silver foil. A scrap of Whisper White. Oh, look at the edge on that. That's not going to work. Hang on. There, I just shaved a little bit off with my old guillotine cutter. That's good for that, shaving just a tiny bit off. Um, five and a half by eight and a half. Here comes the silver foil flower paper. This is our flowering foils. <laughs> I can never say that. Flowering foils. It is um, four by five and a quarter. And we have an inside whisper white layer. And I've also got an envelope and a two and a half by six piece for the envelope flap. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to fold our card in half. And burnish that edge good. And now we're going to do our little, oh, where did my, hmm, hang on. Did you guys see, oh, here they are. I'm like, I don't know where my daubers went, but we're using daubers. So I've got them in here so they don't get ink all over everything. That's what I lost. April, you're late. It's okay. You can go back and watch the beginning. Don't worry. All right. What are you guys drinking tonight? I've got my um, strawberry lemonade. And right now I am looking up these daubers because I told myself I was going to look them up before I came on and I forgot. So, daubers, you get five in a pack for five dollars so they're a dollar each I really like Stampin Up's daubers because they have the hole in the bottom that helps you hold them with your you know it just makes it easier than just holding on to this so I really like them five for five dollars and they're just called sponge daubers so what we're gonna do with this is we are going to get this out of my way we're going to use Bermuda Bay and Highland Heather. I like these two colors together. So we've got our Bermuda Bay. And I am going to take my dauber and I'm going to go around and I'm going to do every other flower center. And when I do this, I'm not just pushing it like that. You certainly could, but I'm kind of twisting it a little bit to get more ink. And again, kind of alternating every other flower center. And I just thought this was kind of a neat way to, and a quick and easy way to add some color to this paper 
I'm gonna do this one a little darker. <laughs> it keeps moving on me. Just like that. And then we've also got this piece over here which is for our envelope flap. So we're going to do that. And I do put mine in the ink every time. Let's do this. And do one, skip one. Oh, I'm getting a little confused. Oh, right? Okay, so then we do purple, Bermuda, purple. I don't know. I'm just going to do some now because I messed myself up. But you'll, you'll get it. You'll do better than I do. I know this about you guys. And how about another one right there? Okay, now we'll go to the purple. But anyways, you want to alternate back and forth. And here comes our Highland Heather. I love this color combination together. And I don't think anybody's going to look at my flowers and go, wow, she didn't do those every other one, did she? And if somebody does and says something to me, they will never, ever get another card from me again. <laughs> I'm kind of ornery like that. <laughs> they don't deserve my cards. Okay. That's good. Oh, we have to do our purple on here, too. Whoops, look, I just stuck my finger in it. April says that now the teals, purples, and silvers are my color combo faves. I know, they're really pretty, aren't they? I, I always love these colors together. Okay, so there's the green. Here comes my Highland Heather. And now I'm just going to go around and fill in the rest of the flowers. I did better on this layer than I did my envelope flap, I think. <laughs> I don't know. It's the pressure. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> you guys are going to get me nervous. Okay, how pretty is that? What do you think? Just kind of a neat way to decorate that paper, right? Okay, now... Um, I'm going to take this. For those of you that may be new tonight, I like to decorate my envelopes with the designer paper if possible. And it's a good way to use up that designer series paper because I hear so many of you, and I have a lot of paper too, don't get me wrong, but I don't ever say this. I don't ever, ever say, oh my Lord, I have so much designer paper. I can't possibly buy any more. I will never say that. But I hear a lot of you say that. So here's my challenge to you, is to start using that paper up. What are you hoarding it for? Your paper is trendy, and it's trendy designs, it's trendy colors, and when you, when you just save it forever, suddenly it's not in style anymore, and pretty soon you have all this outdated paper, and what are you going to do with it? There's always going to be more paper. So use your paper. You can get more. Look at how pretty that is. I love it. Okay, now what are we going to do with this? We are going to, first of all, take this scrap and we're going to grab our To the Woman Who Does It All with Grace and Wisdom. Oh, and Lynette says these are the colors that they're using for her mother's birthday party. That's fun. It's going to be pretty, right? It's going to be a pretty party. Okay. I, oh, now I have the rectangle dies. Uh, let me see. Here they are. The rectangle stitched framelits, and I used the two from over here, the two largest one from that side. And I'm going to take the smaller of those two, and I'm going to die cut this. And I'm also going to put this one in the middle of this layer and try to get it centered in there because the other cards that I made, it's not really quite centered. But I figured, eh, you guys are forgiving, right? We know that nothing, nothing, things don't always go perfect. Sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't. So I've got this in the middle of my layer here. I'm just going to put a little piece of my temporary tape on it to hold it in place. I'm going to run that through. Yeah, Charlene says one sheet wonders are great to use up um, designer series paper with, and she is correct. 
Hang on, I just had to move my cord under my desk. It keeps getting caught in my chair, and I know that I'm going to pull my label maker off the shelf. Once again, I've done it a million times. Okay, so look how cool that looks. And you also get the stitching around this edge. So you get the stitching in the window that we've made here, and you get the stitching around this edge from one die. I couldn't bear not to use this, so we'll be making a card with this too. But for right now, we're gonna come back to this one. And here's our Bermuda Bay. I'm gonna bring this back in here. We're gonna take this and we're gonna glue this to the front of our card. And we've just got that little, it's not little, we've got that large peek through window, which I think is a really cool look. And then we're gonna take this and put it on dimensionals as soon as I find them. Here they are. Got dimensionals. And this is a pretty good size layer, so I'm gonna use three of them. Get those on there. Oh, what happened there? Oh, this one didn't even take the back off of it when I pulled it off. There we go, okay. And then we're gonna set this right in the middle here. And I thought this was a pretty cool card. Okay, isn't that pretty? Now you'll notice that I stamped this off to this, or when I die cut it, I die cut this not directly in the middle. It's kind of off to the left side a little bit. And that's because I wanted to do a little embellishment here. So I am going to take, whoo, hot flesh, my Wink of Stella which I don't know what happened to it, but I had it here someplace. Oh, I see it. Um, wink of Stella, I have another one here, and I'm just going to wink up some of this paper. And I'm just doing enough so that I can punch out a flower. Now you could punch your flower out first and then wink it. <laughs> Do you like that? I like to call it that, wink it. There we go. Oh, you know what? Oh, here's what I found. I found that rhinestones and stuff do not like to stick to Wink of Stella. So I just used my putty end of my Take Your Pick tool to pick that off a little bit. And now I'm going to come in and put a rhinestone in there and see if it'll stick. Because I tried this before and the rhinestone did not like to stick to that Wink of Stella. Oh, it's sticky. So do your... <laughs> Put your rhinestone in there. Well, you can't do that if you punch it like I did. You figure it out, but just know that the rhinestone didn't like to stick to the Wink of Stella. And I've had that with paint stuff before when I used to paint. Um, okay, next, I've got my leaf punch. Here comes my leaf punch and I've got some silver paper here. And I'm going to punch out the leaves and then what I do is I take my stips and I'm going to take this leaf whoops this leaf off of there so I've only got two left and now I'm going to trim this end off okay we're going to put this right here so I'm just going to add a teeny weeny little bit of glue to the ends closest to the stems of these leaves because I don't want glue all over the place and I'm just gonna put them right here, okay? And then we're gonna take a mini dimensional and I'm just gonna grab one of my black ones. I got them right here on the table. It doesn't have to be black, but they're just there. And I'm gonna put my little flower right in here. Is it cute? Just that little bit of something there, right? I just felt like the card just needed a little bit of something. And then let me grab a white layer. Oh, that looks too big. Hang on. Here comes. Oh, here's my white layer. I'm like, I didn't think I got one out. There's a white layer. And then I've got a strip of my designer series paper that I also put the dots on. So I'm just going to put this on the inside. I'm going to pull this all the way to the bottom. Just like that, looks good. I'm gonna trim that off just this little shade. This is the inside of our card. 
Let me get these out of the way because you know what's going to happen next, right? Then I'll be really mad. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. And here comes our envelope. Love it. Now, the sample that I made is a Highland Heather card base with a Bermuda Bay flower. So I just switched it. Okay, switched it. Bermuda Bay for this one, Highland Heather for this one. And then on this one, as I started doing my polka dots, I started stamping all purple ones and I forgot what I was doing. So I kind of lost my mind. <laughs> and so I thought it'll be fine. And it does look just fine, right? So another great idea with this paper. Okay, now we have to figure out what we're going to do with this. So hang tight. Let me get some of this stuff out of my way. I think I can put that away. And I think I can put this away. And I think I can put my flirty flamingo away. Okay, are we ready for another question? So here's my question. This is our been there, done that game. If you're coming in late, we're wearing our pajamas for a pajama party tonight. And I've got a little virtual game that we can all play. It's called been there, done that. Our next question is, have you ever had to walk out of a bad movie? Have you ever gotten up and walked out of a bad movie? So, yes or no? If it's yes, I want to know the movie. Because inquiring minds want to know. I have never walked out of a bad movie. But I can tell you that when I was a teenager, I went to the theater in Marshfield, Wisconsin. And I went there to see a movie. And I can't remember what the name of the movie was. But I know that I really wanted to see it. And it was sold out. And the only movie open was the one that we actually went to because we didn't want to go home. We like wanted to go to the movie. So we like settled for some other stupid movie, right? That stupid movie turned out to be Star Wars. The first Star Wars. And it was an amazing movie in the theater. And it was so funny because I had no idea what it was. And we were so mad. And we just, let's just go to this stupid movie. And it turned out to be fabulous. So I thought that was kind of funny. Ooh, Jackie walked out of a Broadway show. And Carol says she never has, but she should have. I get it, Carol. I get it. Okay, so now I have a black scrap here. And I am looking for... Oh, here's my embossing buddy. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Here comes my embossing buddy. And then we're going to take the big greeting, which went where? Right here. This is the one that says, you are like a diamond, resilient, strong, and beautiful. And I love this sentiment. This is a great time to be sending this to your, um, sending this to your people that are still going to work every day so that everybody else can try and live, get gas, groceries, nurses, doctors, your support staff, all the people. This is a great sentiment for them. So we're going to stamp that. We're going to bring in our silver embossing powder because remember, we're still using that silver foil paper. Oh, Bev says she walked out of Pulp Fiction. Oh my gosh, you had your children with you? I can honestly say that that is one of the only John Travolta movies that I absolutely hate. I did not care for Pulp Fiction at all. I thought it was stupid and there was just so much swearing in it. I just, it was so unnecessary. I just thought it was dumb. So there's my two cents. I would have walked out too. Natural Born Killers, Heather left. Yeah, that was another crappy movie, wasn't it? I'm with you. Totally with you. you um, Sue says she had to leave Gone with the Wind. Uh, they're sitting in the balcony front row, and I had set my pop on the ledge, and it fell over. Oh, my Lord. How embarrassing. Marsha says she's never seen Pulp Fiction. Marsha, don't. It's just stupid. It's just stupid, and every other word is the F word, and it just, it was so dumb. And now... Now, some of you that may like Pulp Fiction, I'm sorry, but personally, I did not care for it. 
maybe somebody liked it. Obviously, people liked it because it's still, people are still talking about it. Okay, so here we have silver embossed. We're going to use the largest stitched shape circle, and we are going to um, push it up. I want some space up here, so I'm not going to center it, but I'm going to push it up and run it through my Big Shot and die cut it like this. And then, of course, when I do that, it's going to look like this. I know, I'm magical. <laughs> here comes our Highland Heather card base, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And then I have a piece of basic black that is four by five and a quarter. I have a piece of Highland Heather that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And by the way, you guys, all of the dimensions for the projects tonight are going to be above this Facebook video. Once it's done, I will go in there and type them all up and put them above in the description of the video. You'll also find all of these projects in still photos tomorrow on my blog. I will have um, photos of all the cards. The dimensions will be by the cards. There'll also be a complete shopping list, which you can also consider an ingredient list showing the colors of the inks. And when you click on, you know, Highland Heather ink pad on the shopping list, it'll take you right to my store if you'd like to order anything. So this layer, three and seven eighths by five and an eighth, is going to go through my Settles embossing folder, okay? And through the magic, I've already done that. So we've got this, this, and this. And now what I'm going to do is glue these all together. We're going to put the Highland Heather on the black. And again, I just really thought that black was pretty with the gold foil paper to make it pop. Here we go. And I see that I have kind of a scraggly edge here so let me see if I can mess my card up completely you guys ever do that we're like oh I can trim it a little bit yeah you really can oh I did pretty good <laughs> most of the time I hack it and then it's like oh for Pete's sakes right okay here we go with this layer this is gonna go right on here are you digging it already I love the black like boom it's a huge pop now I'm gonna take this that was the inside, whoops, let me grab this card, the inside panel from this, right? I'm gonna take that and we're going to put it on the front of this card because I couldn't bear to just like discard it. It's so pretty. That's gonna fit over here perfectly. I'm gonna carry this through with the black glitter ribbon. And we're going to take that and we're just going to tie it right over here in a double knot. Maybe. Let's see. I wish Steve was in here to give me a finger. <laughs> yeah, not the naughty finger. Okay, there we go. He got a little cranky today. <laughs> um, what were we doing? We were in the kitchen. Oh, he always gets a little cranky when, like, things move around in the cupboards because they're too full. And so something, like, fell over inside the cupboard and pushed the door open. And then he's like, dang, 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 dang. And I had to tell him to settle down. And then he went out in the garage for a while. Because <laughs> I'm a little more forceful than that. I, I go something like this. Oh, for Pete's sakes, knock it off. And then he does. <laughs> So it was kind of funny, but he was, he was, I don't know, he was just a little stressed out or something. And then he went out in the garage and came back in and he was just nice as pie. We got a new vacuum cleaner, so we got it out of the box and put it all together. And he vacuumed out the cupboards then and he cleaned out the chip bin and <laughs> he did all the things. Okay, so look at that. Pretty cool, right? We're just barely touching the surface here because we're gonna keep going with this. I've got a scrap of Highland Heather here, and then I'm gonna bring in my Highland Heather ink, and I've got the flower from the Thoughtful Blooms, and we're just gonna stamp some flowers. So I'm gonna one, two, and three. 
And then use that little bloom punch. Now remember, this punch is free with your $100 order. The stamp set is free with your $50 order. And this foil paper that I've been using for all these cards is also free with your $50 order. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so we've got all three of these. I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of one of them. And I want a baby dimensional. Here we go. I'm just going to put a little bitty dimensional on the back of one of those. Now, then I also need, where did that silver paper? Here's silver scrap. I'm going to take my leaf punch and punch out a silver leaf. And then I'm going to cut this off and I'll trim that down just a little bit. So I think I'm going to actually put this right about here. Add some glue to the back. And again, we've got this big greeting. We've got this over here. Now we just need some embellishments. And we're going to do our embellishing with these flowers. So we're going to glue this in. I need to get a new bottle of glue out, don't I? Am I making you crazy with the glue? Or are you like, oh my lord, will she just get a new bottle of glue? I promise I will at some point here. Maybe for tomorrow. Oh, by the way, you guys, I'll be live again tomorrow. I don't know what time, but I will be live for your <laughs> stamping entertainment. Oh, and Vicki's asking, is anything going to carry over to the new annual catalog? You know... I don't think from the celebration it is. Um, am I wrong about that? Does anybody know the answer to that? Because I really haven't paid much attention to the carryovers. Uh, there's a few things that we've been told. I think like the thoughtful nature dyes are going to carry over, but I just don't remember. I have such a terrible memory. I can't remember jack anything. I don't know if this one's going to stick. Now I'm just going to bring in some rhinestones. Nope, I pulled the back off of that one. Do I have any baby ones here? Oh, we're going to have to get out some new rhinestones. Hang on. New rhinestones. And here they come. Got a new package here. Oh, Sarah, this little flower punch is carrying over. Okay, so that's good news. This little bloom punch, Sarah says, is carrying over. Excellent. I, I love this little punch. And we don't have a little flower punch right now. We really, really, I just pulled the back off that one too. We really need one. So that's good news. I'm happy to hear that. Oh, I think it's sticking to there. Okay, so look at how cute that is, right? Now, one more thing I want to do. Just move some of this out of the way. And these are just the little things that take your cards to the next level. I'm going to grab my Bermuda Bay ink. And I've got this sentiment here that says, you're amazing, that's a fact. And I am just going to stamp this on a scrap of white with Bermuda Bay ink. Hang on, let me get this closed up. And then I'm going to bring in my little guillotine cutter. Now remember... This deal with the guillotine cutter ends on March 31st. If you would like to get this, you can get it for free with your discount shopper kit. The discount shopper kit allows you to get a discount on all your future orders of at least 20%. Or you can build a business. But most of the people on my team are discount shoppers. And they just really enjoy buying their stamps and other products from Stampin' Up! at a discount. They also enjoy being a part of my team. So if you would like to join my team and order the Discount Shopper Kit, you get this. You get a free stamp set of your choice, and you get a sampler pack of most of our Designer Series paper out of the Spring Mini Catalog and Celebration brochure. Plus, see what I did there? I just cut that so that it's really little. Plus, you get to choose $125 in more product of your choice and you get a paper pumpkin kit. So in the end, it's about $215 worth of product for $99 plus tax. And it's completely customizable. You get to 
choose anything that you want. It's a really, really good deal. It's our celebration promotion, and it's over on Tuesday. So if you'd like to join my team, please don't wait till Tuesday to do it because our website tends to get overwhelmed. <gasps> what do you guys think of that? Yeah, and the Black Dimensionals carried over from the Holiday Mini Catalog. Yep, you're absolutely right. They're in the store. You can still buy them. And when you do buy them, you get mini ones and big ones. So they both come in the same pack, which is great, right? Okay, so we still have one more thing to do here. And let me look at this. Oh, here's my, here's my little piece. So I decided I just wanted a little strip for my inside white layer here. And I'm going to take my Bermuda Bay ink and my Bermuda Bay sponge dauber. By the way, you can take these and wash them out in soapy water and let them dry and continue to reuse them. I usually just like, okay, so this one will always be Bermuda Bay now. And when I need a new color for a new one, I'll just grab a new dauber. But you can wash these out. And I'm going to just do little small circles because I don't want to crinkle up my um, designer series paper by doing this, right? I think I would bend it and wrinkle it. So I'm just doing little circles here and I'm going to make this Bermuda Bay and it doesn't have to be even or you could keep working on it until your color is all evened out. I'm going to Grab a tissue and polish it a little bit to get the ink off of the silver foil. Now I'm going to hope that I don't... Uh-oh, hang on, I just lost a die. I don't want to roll over it because that'll ruin it. Wow, that went a long ways. It was way over behind by my little cabinet. Okay, so um, here we go. Are you guys still with me? Nobody's sleeping yet, right? I hope not. There's no sleeping. Whoops. No sleeping and stamping. Even though you have your pajamas on. I know sometimes you guys fall asleep while you're watching me. I find that really rather funny. I would do the same thing. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay. Here goes our inside. And again, just that little strip of designer paper makes it worthwhile, right? What do you guys think of this card? Now that's just the scrap, the scrap that you would have thrown away because we made a peek through window or a little, you know, to frame this. And then I've got my envelope flap. And I think what I'm gonna do with that, hang on just a second. Oh, I've got this, I gotta order some more of my mailers. But I'm gonna just take this and we will do this. One, two. I think that one I made all purple, so this one I'm going to do all Bermuda. Let's go through here. Oops. Oh my lord. I just threw my, my, um, my glue just flipped off my desk and it is behind me on my chair by my butt. I couldn't have done that if I tried, right? Okay, so we just did some Bermuda polka dots on there. So we've got this. Are you guys sick of me yet? What time is it? I want something else over the edge. So I've got that. Oh, hang on. I've got this. <laughs> I got confused. And then I've also got this. So I did it in two different colors. I'm looking for my envelope right now, but I don't know what happened to it. It disappeared. It's here someplace, you guys. And we have this. Here's our envelope for that. Here's our envelope for this one. And I know I have an envelope for this last one, but nobody knows where it is. So. Huh. Oh, and then we have these two coming back in here. this and this all made out of that silver paper that's free with a $50 order okay now if you guys aren't completely sick of me yet I have another thing to show you do you want me to keep it for tomorrow or do you want me to show it to you now 
You tell me. I don't want anybody falling asleep on me. Are we ready for another question? Been there, done that. Have you ever met anybody famous? Go. Leave your, I want to know who you met in the comments because I always find that fascinating. And I was trying to think if I have met anybody famous and I'm not really sure that I have. I know my mom ran into John Denver when we were at Pikes Peak on vacation and that was pretty exciting, but I don't think I've ever met anybody famous. So I have one more card to show you. Do you want me to show you? Nobody's talking. Or at least my comments aren't coming through. Yeah, I'm not getting any comments from anybody. I wonder if we're a little frozen. David Bowie. Herman's Hermits. Oh, these cards are Karen's favorite. Thank you so much, Heather. Thank you. Lynn has never met anyone famous. Yeah, I don't think I have really either. Not to my knowledge. All right. Um, it's only 8.10, so I've only been on for an hour. I think I will show you this last thing because it goes with this paper. Nobody's really saying. Buddy from the Cake Boss. That's cool. Johnny Depp when he was filming in Oshkosh. Yep, that movie was um, made here in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. So that's neat. I think you told me that once before too, Heather. That's pretty cool. Okay, so here's the last card that I'm going to show you. Well, I've actually got two, but I'm just going to show you how I did the background. So this won't take that long. I'm going to do Calypso Coral. And I think I used Petal Pink to do this. So... As I was goofing around today, um, I thought that I would try this direct to paper thing and see what I could do with it. So I'm gonna come in with my light color first and I think it would just be a really good idea to use your light color. Sharon, you saw ZZ Top, stop it. Oh, Peggy McGillian just said you're so funny. <laughs> Thanks, Peggy. <laughs> I'm honored. So I'm going to take my petal pink ink and we did kind of a direct to paper thing yesterday. So I'm going to, I decided to just do it like this. Okay. So I'm just going to do it kind of on a diagonal and I'm just rubbing it. Let's see which is the best way. Probably the long way, holding it the long way. And I'm just going to rub it on here and I'm going to make some diagonal lines right on my flowering foils designer series paper. And, and I was just goofing around today going, gosh, I wonder if I could do this. Would that turn out? I don't know. Okay, and now I'm going to come in with Calypso Coral. And then, again, for these bigger pieces, I'm going to kind of do it the long way. Well, I don't know if I like this so much. weird looking right this is looking really crappy um, but I'll show you oh now it's starting to get a little better let's do some more down here let's even this out a little bit so you could do up and down stripes you could do diagonal stripes yeah I don't know if this was straight it would probably look better right but that's what I did. So I just did some stripes with some different colors on this paper. And let me show you what I made because this looks like it's not that great. But here's one that I did with Pool Party and Highland Heather. And I thought that looked pretty okay. This one is a little trickier, but this one looks pretty good, right? And then I did a straight up and down with the pe um, Petal Pink and the Calypso Coral. And then I did the same thing that I did on these cards with this one. I just put it on Calypso Coral instead of white. So what do you think of that? I thought that was kind of neat looking. It's kind of an ombre type of effect. And then I did this one with Bermuda Bay and Highland Heather. 
And again, it's um, embossed in silver, the same layout. I didn't put any flowers or anything on it because I thought I'm just going to keep these quick and easy, very crisp and clean. There's a lot going on with the stripes. What do you guys think of that? Yeah. Doc Severinsen, Sherry said, in an elevator in Lake Tahoe. That's pretty cool. You know, I was trying to think. I don't think I've ever... Uh, uh, some place in the back of my mind, it seems like I have met a celebrity, but I can't think of who it was because, you know, I have no memory. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I'm sure I'm going to figure something out for them. So, you guys, that's all our cards tonight. I hope you enjoyed this Facebook Live. I had a lot of fun making these today. And I wanted to talk a little bit about my kits that you have ordered. The Welcome Easter Kit... Um, actually isn't wasn't promised to be out in the mail until next week Monday I don't know how I got ahead of myself by a week because that never happens but um oh this here's the envelope look at that there we go is that it oh maybe not um anyways so I didn't work on kits today I just worked on all this stuff and I've got a lot of stuff to mail out tomorrow for um gifts I have to get all those out in the mail. I had some people request catalogs. If you're new to Stampin' Up! and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com and request our current catalogs. They're absolutely beautiful, and I'm happy to mail them to you. Okay, I'm going to flip the camera around. Hang tight. Want anybody throwing up on me? <laughs> well, you're not going to throw up on me, but we don't want to get our jammies dirty, right? Yeah. So now I can see your comments again. Hang on, I just ran over my embossing folder. Holy cow. Yeah, so I don't think I will. Oh, um, I think it was Sharon just asked if I'll be on in the morning or the afternoon tomorrow. You know, I never know, Sharon. And as long as I'm going to keep doing daily Facebook Lives, I have really... Um, resisted against setting a time the day before because I never know what my day is going to look like. And um, I'm one of those people that I hate to be scheduled for things. So I just kind of pop on and do it when I pop on and do it. So I don't know. Um, I'm hoping it'll be earlier rather than later. Okay, so maybe, well, let's see. I have a Zoom conference call in the morning at my time, 8 o'clock. So that means I have to set an alarm tonight and get up. I know you guys are going for 8 o'clock. Really, Kelly? Yep, because <laughs> I usually sleep till 9. But I'm up way late at night, so it's all relative. Um, so maybe I can get something going tomorrow. I don't know. But I do put a post on my page about 15 minutes before I'm ready to go live. So just know that. And you guys are so sweet. All the thank yous are wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, Megan asked if I drew the international prize. I did actually. Uh, I think I did it yesterday. And our winner was from New Zealand and I actually had a conversation with her. I have her prize. Oh no, I don't have her prize in the kitchen. She did I send? Yeah, I, I actually sent her her prize already. Oh my Lord, I was trying to remember her name. I'm so bad. But yes, I did award an online class. And she chose, it's funny, I can remember this. She chose the Tropical Oasis online class. And Donna, what did Donna just say? She said, my time midnight, LOL. Exactly. So Donna was on late last night and I was watching her class. It was so fun. Yeah. So, um, Jane can't make cards for six weeks. Oh, da, 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 da. yeah. So, um, oh, I was watching that movie the other day, uh, Jumanji, the latest Jumanji movie. And, um, that has the rock in it and he's my boyfriend. Steve doesn't know it though. So don't tell him, but the rock mm, delicious. I like looking at some of him. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Charlene hasn't met anyone famous. However, my husband is a plumber and did the plumbing for Richard Marks and Jennifer Gray. Oh, that's kind of cool, right? Yeah. I like it. My mom and dad were over-the-road truck drivers, and they hauled great big, huge boulders for um, 
famous people to put on their lawn for yard decorations. Yeah. <laughs> Weird, right? Yeah, so that was pretty cool. So, you remember yesterday I told you all about my story about um, shaving my legs and why I was shaving my legs because I didn't want somebody call the nurses in the hallway at the ICU if I get the, you know, corona, if I get the corona, I don't want them going, hey, did you see the hairy beast down in 352 because I'm going to have shaved legs, right? And then I got some comments from some nurses saying, well, we don't really care about stuff like that. And believe me, I do know that. I was just being silly. But um, somebody posted on here that if if you end up in ICU for any period of time and you and the nurses notice that you're somebody that does shave your legs regularly, like you come in there with clean shaven legs, they will keep your legs shaved nicely so that you aren't a big hairy beast when you leave. That's so cool, right? So anyways, this morning as I was taking my shower, there's a lot of thinking that goes on in my shower. <laughs> when I was taking my shower this morning, I was thinking about how I need to tweeze my eyebrows. And um, I have this one little hair that grows right here. Now this really is, again, too much information, but I plucked that little bugger out. And I thought, you know, I want to keep myself up. Because when this CQ 2020 is over, like, I'm going to be unleashed and I am headed someplace. I do not know where, but I'm going on a trip somewhere. I told Steve today. And he goes, yeah, well, it's going to be a really busy time for us. And I know what he was talking about, like, spring and trying to get everything ready to get the pool opened up and all the things happening. You know, spring and summer is a really busy time for us to stay home, not be going anyplace. <laughs> told him I said I'll go by myself <laughs> I'm going you're either coming with me or you're not coming with me so now that's what I have to focus on and I have to figure out where I want to go <laughs> because I'm supposed to be in Arizona right now and we didn't go to get to go to Arizona and lots of people whoops <laughs> lots of people didn't get to go on their vacations and I totally get that but when this is over I'm going someplace. I can guarantee it. And so I need to keep myself up because I don't want to have like a big rush to do all the shaving and the tweezing and, you know, looking like I just came out of a cave. So, yeah. That's that those are my thoughts in the shower this morning. <laughs> I am going to be unleashed to the world and I'm going to rock it. And I am going to do my duty as a U.S. citizen, and I'm going to boost this economy with everything I've got. <laughs> so that's what I'm focusing on now. What am I going to do when the corona quarantine 2020 is over? Lisa just said she can come down to Austin, Texas. That might be where I come. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do have a new grandbaby coming. And do I think... Do I think I'll go away? I don't know. I kind of forgot about that. Thanks for ruining my dreams. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I do have a new grandbaby coming. <laughs> well, maybe we'll go someplace together. Maybe I'll take the baby with me. I don't know. Darn it. <laughs> no, but I'm going somewhere. I'm going. I need to be on a beach someplace with a cocktail in my hand that looks really pretty with an umbrella in it. That's what I need. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, look at who just said that. Sue said, my daughter has strict orders to make sure my chin hairs are plucked. That's right. I don't want to look like a big hairy beast. <laughs> Got to keep things in order. <laughs> Got to keep yourself up so you don't have like this big disaster at the end of this the CQ 2020. I'm telling you. Ugh. So... Oh, Cher polished her toenails. Well, good for you. I still have my, you guys saw my nails, right? Whatever. I'll get to them. I've been pretty busy lately, but um, yeah. So again, I want to thank all of our essential workers. That's the name, right? The essential workers. I, wanna, I want to thank you guys all for what you're doing, for keeping us able to go to the store and the gas station and... You know, um, the doctor and what else? Who else? Our newscasters to keep us informed on what's going on. 
Who else do we have helping us every day? My mailman, for Pete's sakes. Yeah, that's huge. And UPS and FedEx. Um, all I know is I'm saving a lot of money right now because I don't have as much fun shopping online as I do in the stores. I'm just saying. And I'm not going out to lunch at all. I might start, like, going and picking up takeout. <laughs> I can feel like I'm going out to lunch. I really miss it. But we're going to be okay. I did. I talked to somebody today who said they weren't doing very well with this. And my heart really goes out to you, all joking aside. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. This is, this is rough for a lot of people. But I'm going to keep the attitude that I'm going to look forward to. What am I going to do when it's over? That's where my head is going now. What am I going to do when it's over? Who just asked that? Trish just asked. Yeah, I'm having a hot flash, Jenny. Thank you. You know what's happening here. And I got these heavy pajamas on. Yeah. Um, oh, and, and they're catching. Um, Trisha just asked if I watched Gone Girl yet. I didn't, but it's on my DVR. And I thought I better wait and watch it when I can pay attention. Because I think it's one of those movies you need to pay attention to. Not one that you can kind of half watch and keep working, right? So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So um, I've got one more question for you in our Been There, Done That pajama party. Have you ever crashed a wedding? I want to hear the truth. Because I know people crash weddings. I've never done it. Not to say that I wouldn't. If the right circumstances came about. But I know, I know people who have gone to people's weddings because there's free beer. <laughs> when I was much younger, of course, you know. I mean, I didn't, I didn't go to somebody's wedding that I didn't know. But I know people who are like, hey, there, there's a wedding down at the Legion tonight. Oh, who's getting married? Oh, I don't know. But we're going to go. There's free beer. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> These are my, those are, those are my redneck friends. And yeah, they do funny things like that. They're hysterical. Anyways, um, hi Jan, I'm just reading your comments here. My husband works for CareStream, which was Kodak, hang on, I'm reading, which was Kodak someplace, oh my lord, I don't know where it went. Oh, which was Kodak, and he's still working because they make x-rays. There you go, Cheryl. All those things we don't think about, right? I've never, ever thought about all the essential things that we need to keep the world running, to keep our country running. Um, it's crazy. But I want to thank everybody who is doing their part throughout all of this to keep things going. Like, it's, it's nuts. Anyways... Back to my happy thoughts of a beach someplace with a foo-foo drink with an umbrella and some fruit on the edge and laying in a chair in the sun. And you guys know I hate sand, right? But I will go to the beach. I prefer cement pools. <laughs> but I, I've been known to sit at a beach. <laughs> and I want to be there soon. Yeah. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I will be live tomorrow. Did I tell you everything I needed to tell you? I think I did. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to let you go. I will be live again tomorrow. I don't know what time. I don't know what's happening tomorrow. But um, just watch for the notification. I usually put it on about 10 to 15 minutes before. Yeah, Susan says I need a girl's vacay. You got that right, sister. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. So thanks for joining me. Please share my video. Whether you're watching now or later on YouTube, you can share. Give me a thumbs up. That always helps in the analytics. And um, yeah, I'll see you back tomorrow. Thanks for joining me for the pajama party. Good night, you guys.